Hello, and welcome to my second installment of, like, beginner tips, if you like. Um, today I'll be talking about field of view, sensitivity, and some graphics options that can help you out. Okay? Alrighty, now, field of view. What do you, what do you want with field of view? Now, I would recommend, if you're new to the game, to stick to a medium field of view, something like uh, 110. Um, I w personally, I would say that a low field of view would be 90, a high field of view would be around 120, and mediums around 110, okay? Um, the reason why I would say um, use 110 is the fact that it gives you a good amount of freedom when it comes to what you see. Um, it's not too uh, zoomed in, and you, you won't get so disorientated. So right now, what I have this setup as is 90. So if, if you look what happens when I change that to 110, go CG underscore FOV 110, there you go. It's um, sort of zoomed down a little bit and uh, given the player a little bit more to see. Um, and if you're in a, a real busy sort of environment like Plan Arena or a free-for-all, it's really good to see as much as you can, but you don't want to have it too high so it's like a fishbowl effect like this for instance and I have seen people use this kind of setting so if I go to 130 some people use this I absolutely do not recommend 130 look how small the characters are on the screen so your opponents you're going to be shoot shooting at are tiny are absolutely tiny and um, you're going to have to lower your mouse settings really low in order to pixel rel people, you know, that sort of size. Um, definitely not recommended. If I actually change that back to 110, that's a lot nicer. It's more zoomed in, and the enemies are easy to see, and there's a good balance of what, you know, what you need to see and what you don't need to see. You won't get disorientated, I guarantee. Okay, now, sensitivity. If I just come out of the uh, spec pod right now, and move around, so I would say a good sensitivity is where you're walking along and you can turn around, do a 180 and uh, attack the enemy who was coming at you from behind. Now if you can do that nice and easy, just a flick, 180 degrees, then that is that is perfect. You know, you don't need anything more than that. You don't really need anything less. That's just a nice comfortable area to start off with, but you can tailor that to your own style later on, but this is a good sort of starting point. In order to obtain that sort of flick but keep a lower sensitivity, you could um, use Mass Excel. I, for instance, use 0.02 Mass Excel, and that is the difference between a 90 degree turn and 180. So if I go to CL Mouse Excel and change that to zero, and I try that again, I can only turn 90 degrees and that's that's not enough for me basically but I don't want to sacrifice the smoother consistent aiming that a lower sensitivity gives me so if I put on 0.02 it is just the perfect amount for me to do that basically um, and it's a good sort of guide for anybody you know if you want a nice comfortable movement um, and, and good aim uh, so give that a shot um, when it comes to graphic settings uh, the most important prop thing would be pip pick mip I would say, and that controls your texture detail. So if you bring down the console, do R underscore pick, pick, oh God, pick, nip. Uh, I've currently got this set on four, which is a nice sort of level to be on. It's not too uh, detailed, it's not too blurry either. Um, the theory is is that basically your brain has to um, change, well not change, but it has to filter out garbage on the screen to focus on what's important, which is the opponent basically. You can t completely remove the textures. If you change that to 7 for instance, so if I go to pit mix 7 and uh, did restart that, you'll see straight away um, how all of the textures are completely blurred out and all you can see is the opponent and that is great, that is great for focusing and um, personally I like to have some textures though because it gives a sense of speed um, and also a sense of distance as well which I I do feel helps um, but like I say it, it is a personal preference but try not to use anything higher than 4 don't use 3, 2 or 1 um, you're just really adding far too much detail to the outside of the game 
um, and it will, I'm pretty sure it would lower your reaction speed. So having a low texture really helps your reactions, okay? Um, I think that covers just about everything. Um, other options in the menus that you might want to turn off would be things like muzzle flash and uh, bob on walk, hit, hit bob and all that sort of thing. Turn all that crap off. But generally, that's, that's what you need to get started. If you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments. Thank you.